was delicious. Well, I had no complaints when I was a short order chef at the Earl School Plaza. Oh, I didn't know you ever worked in hotels. Well, I didn't, but uh, that's what we call the side top down in London. I mean, the digs were so expensive, we used to keep on the job. You see, you knew how to make the best of things then. Yeah, I guess so. You should start thinking like that again. Put your coat in for the village hall roof. Yeah. Well, I can do the job, Edna, but, uh, you know, I mean, if too many people keep bad-mouthing me, I mean, what chance have I got? But there'll be some who'll be speaking up for you, too. You just keep thinking positive. <sighs> you got me in with a good chance. They're bound to want someone local. I don't know. I'm worried about this aptitude test. I was always lousy at exams. Oi! Hands off. That's some lasagna. What aptitude test? Marlon's got an interview for the postman's job. What sort of things do you think they'll ask? Uh, what's the difference between a post box and a hippopotamus? Eh? Post box, big red thing with a hole in the front. <laughs> you see, it failed already. You're expecting to know that sort of thing Bob, if you're a postman. Bob, this is serious. I really want this job. We need the money. No sweat. I'll just ask you, like, road names, you know, best routes to delivery. Yeah, we'll take a walk round, get it all mapped out in your head. Now, glad we got that sorted. Now, can we concentrate our minds on my little problem? How me and Viv get the old magic back? <laughs> well, first, you're going to be able to tell the difference between her and a hippopotamus. Not funny. Okay. Oh, have you got no dog food today? I'll be with you in a minute. Look, I've got to get back to the factory. Emily! If it's in them boxes, I'll sort myself out. Don't one. touch. I haven't checked them yet. Find Lisa some dog food. Hello. Hi, hello. Just right here. Oh, do you know? There you are. Still OK for me to leave early? Uh, uh, what? Uh, any chance of finishing my order? Uh, uh, you said it would be this morning. I want to be there for when Debbie gets back from school. She's off to our family. To... But can't you see? I'm rushed off my feet. At least make sure you've unpacked all these boxes before you go. Is there anybody there? It's a tough life being an entrepreneur. Come on. Vivian, I haven't got all day. Sorry to keep you. Yeah, that's three teas, three buns. No bun for me, Mike. Made me a big lunch. Three and two, then. Last time I let Seth loose in kitchen, couldn't get rid of the smell for a week. <laughs> oh, Mike's a good cook. And he did the washing up. Must be after summit. Why do you always have to think the worst of somebody? Our speakers are fine. <sighs> Do you know, that's the very attitude that is making that man leave this village. Well, from what I hear, he's upset a lot of people, so perhaps it wouldn't be a bad idea if he was to make a fresh start somewhere else. Well, if you all gave him a chance, he could make a fresh start here. Well, it doesn't seem to be making much of an effort. Still, I'm putting in a quote for village hall. Well, I've told you, he's going to. Better get his skates on. <laughs> We've already got enough to choose from, see for yourself. Got no reason to wait around for him. Oh, I'll take these home. Study them. I want to be sure we're getting the right man. Hey, Bob. Maybe you should talk to Rodney about your problems with Viv. He's always been a bit of a ladies' man. I've had my moments. Quite a few from what Diane's told us. <laughs> well, George Bernard Shaw said, you should treat a flower girl like a princess. And vice versa. And was he a bigot with the ladies? Uh, not really. <laughs> Don't expect he had one locked away in his ass, though. How's me mum? She'll come out when she's ready. Let's go back to me and Viv. She's already wooed and warm. We just need something to, you know, to get the sparkle back. Like when we first met. That's it. By George, he's got it. All we need is a briefcase. Can we uh, ask you what you intend to do with it? All part of the master plan. I walk you up to home farm. It's OK. I can manage by myself. Of course you can. I just thought you might like the company. Good idea. Oh, no, why don't I drop her off? I'm going up to Meadow Farm. It's on the way. What's up with you? I won't come in. Mm, great. Let's go. Over to the wool patch when I get back, if you want. <laughs> Emily, all right. Why shouldn't she be? I don't know. She just seems a bit quiet. She just worries about you. It's natural. Girls, he's back.
I'm back. <laughs> so I see. Good trip. Can't complain. Can we start unloading? Yeah, I'll just unlock. Ah, oh, to go to Paris. Oh, it's lovely, Paris. Oh, they're romantic. Yeah, Ronnie took me for a long weekend. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, first one. Oh, nice to see you so keen in your new job. Wasn't my idea. Lisa's had to pop off, but she'll be chuffed if we get this lot done by the time she gets back. <laughs> oh. Brought you a little prezzy back. Oh, Ronnie. Oh, that's sweet of you. <laughs> I've had a word with Alan Turner and Viv, and they both seem to agree we can narrow it quotes down to a couple at most. Oh, well, as far as I'm concerned, you can put them on the table, close your eyes and stick a pin in. Uh, it's hardly a scientific method of getting best deal for Village Hall. And it is a matter for the full committee to decide. <laughs> Just thought the sooner we got on with it, the better. What did you think of quotes? I'm still studying them. Oh, they make fascinating reading. Full of useful information. Length of guttering, qualities of flashings. I like a bit of flashing, me. <laughs> Why do you have to find something coarse in everything? It's a hobby. When do you think you'll have finished your deliberations? Another day won't harm. Oh, I, I reckon we should just pick cheapest. Well, the cheapest isn't all the best value for money. Well, there's other considerations, like using local tradesmen. Sid's local? Yes, but... But he hasn't done a job as big as this before. Well, I think that we should wait until all the quotes are in and then the committee can make an informed decision. Oh, she's taking this very serious, isn't she? What does she know about building work? Probably tell his bod Kingdom Brunelli got his elevations wrong. Has he put a quote in? you back at the factory. Oh, can't you do without me for five minutes? We've unloaded all the ceramics. Oh, well done. But he doesn't seem very happy. I've told you it's not the point. I mean, well, yeah, he's in the first of the year. Oh, lock. he's still working. I'm at a eh? Well, we won't be long. You can watch telly while you're waiting. No, it's all right. I can finish this on my own. Oh. Oh, new coat. Oh, yeah, Emily bought it for me. Oh, well, couldn't really expect Emily to um, have much fashion sense. Mm. Well, I never really liked it. But I couldn't say anything because she'd have been upset. I've brought you a present. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's... <laughs> very original. Made it myself. You must have put a lot of hard work into that. Yeah, it took me hours. Well, anyway, um, I I'm going to go into Leeds for a while. You might as well come with me if you want. That'd be great. OK. There's a box missing. Are you sure, eh? I've just counted them twice. Well, we unloaded them all. The van's empty. Perhaps they didn't deliver the full quota. Oh, no. Ronnie would have counted the docket at the other end. Exactly. Somebody has stolen one. <laughs> right, we're off, Chris. Right. I'll come with you. Oh, I thought you wanted to finish that. Still be there when I get back. Well, we are planning on doing quite a lot of shopping. Well, I'm used to that. Thought we could have a bite at that Tunisian restaurant. Start serving up. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Am I dressed all right? You'll be fine. And we can always maybe pick you something up while we're out shopping. Hey? Come <laughs> on. But it, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why would someone want to nick a box of pottery? It's not as if they could sell it that easily. <laughs> I would have thought you'd have had a better understanding of the criminal mind living with Zack so long. You leave my Zack out of this! Agreed. 
It's too far away to have had anything to do with it. I'm merely suggesting that the back of the lorry mentality isn't just about profit, it's about the politics of envy, scoring points against the buses. Well, don't you think you're overreacting a bit? I mean, I know it's been difficult for you since Gloria went to London. That has got nothing to do with it. It's about employees thinking they can have one over on me. But it might not be somebody from the factory. It might be somebody from more the transport end. Whatever. If you let him get away with it once, they think they'll get one over on you and then they'll start pinching anything that's not nailed down. That's why we have to stamp it out now. Well, what do you want me to do? Be my eyes and ears. But I, I wouldn't be comfortable with that, not spying on my fellow workmates. Lisa, you're part of the management now, which implies certain responsibilities that are for good of the company. Catch the culprit. And when you do, I'll sack them on the spot. That'll teach others not to mess around with me. Well, hello. There are certainly a lot of very pretty views in this village. What? I'm in the area for a couple of days to introduce local stores to our latest lines in Legwear. But what are you up to? I'm trying to recreate our first meeting. Oh, don't be daft. No, it's the answer, Viv. Try and remember how you felt back then. I, I fancied you from the very first moment. Come on, play along with me here. Oh. If you think it helps. Yeah, trust me, eh? <clears throat> now, it's not just bread, milk and newspapers that need regular repurchasing. You were dead smooth. Thank you. <laughs> a pair of tights is easily snagged. And if Madam hasn't time to hop on a bus to town, what better news could she hear than that her local store has started stocking stockings? Are you doing this for real? Have you got your stock? We're talking legwear of the highest quality. We've sheer stockings, seamless stockings, seam stockings, silk stockings, knee length stockings, fishnet stockings, pop socks, and pantyhose. In short, hosiery. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I think I'll. Uh, I'll have those fishnets and you can help me try them on. No, 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 no. You played it much hard to get last time. Oh, after you. you said to remember how I felt. And I fancied you even then. Oh, I suppose we uh, could always improvise. <laughs> 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 I still have the best legs in the Dales. And you always had the smoothest lines. We belong together. I always like to give my customers satisfaction. Oh, well, no complaints there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I just popped in for a bottle of scotch. You carry on. I'll come back later. I've been in this village for years and I want that the back of my hand. That's why you're the ideal choice for the local postman. <laughs> yeah. All that's worrying me is, is the aptitude test. I told you I was never any good at exams. Well, it's not A-levels, is it? you just got to tell him the fastest route, that's all. Yeah, right. How hard can it be? Go on, go on, ask me a question. Right. How'd you get from Connaughton to Demdike? Demdike? My mind's gone blank, Trish. Well, what about Rubblesfield Twatton? Maybe we should go and get a map. Here, and we can go scouting later on this week, yeah? Mm. Come on. Cheers, Bob. Thank you very much. Ta. I hope Debbie's all right. She'll be fine. Anyway, this is a chance to get out together. Bob, thanks. Have you got them darts? Oh, sucker for punishment, aren't you, eh? She beat you easy last time. So, I'll beat her this time, I mean. Lisa? Mr. Pollard seemed very angry. Oh, he'll get over it. Hang on a minute, I need to talk to Mr. Marsden. Uh, can I have a word? Sit down. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, Tom. Look, it's about the delivery. Um, there seems to be a box missing. Eh? Well, I can't understand that. I checked them all off at Kelly. Mm, well, um, I couldn't help noticing you carrying some into your house. Oh. Oh, you mean like this? I'm not accusing anyone. I'm sure there's a simple explanation. Oh, there is. Cheap fags, cheap booze, a few French delicacies for the good people of Emmerdale. 
Do you want to have a look? No, no, thanks. I'll take your word for it. I'm sorry. I didn't want to play detective. It's just Eric. He's on the warpath. I'll get no peace till I track it down. Oh, sorry, love. You're going to have to look elsewhere for your culprit. <sighs> I am. Oh. <clears throat> you going out? Uh, I'm just going to the shop for a minute. You want me to start dinner? No, 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 I'll do it. I'll clear that lot away when I get back. There's it beers. And a couple of bottles of bubbly. Uh, cheers, Johnny. Non-vintage, but very crisp on the palate. Well, uh, wouldn't know too much about that, but nothing better for convincing birds of dealing with a classy bloke, is it? Oh. Cheers. You need a double tap. Sorry, I just can't concentrate. It's all right, you've got another throw. I know, why don't we say you've won? Cos I really don't feel like playing. Me, I've been a bit distracted tonight. Well, I can't help worrying about Debbie. Well, there's no need to. She's probably having a great time. She was really looking forward to it, wasn't she? Well, that's what worries me, cos, you know, our charity bill is hot and cold. Emily, I don't think either of them are going to thank us for interfering right now, do you? I think the best thing we can do is just to step back a little bit and let them sort it out themselves. Go on, you're playing them up. Sorry to drag you back. I've ever left it. Mm, there it is. <laughs> You should have bought that silver dress. You look really great in it. Thank you, but I've already got one similar, and we were really looking for you, weren't we? Never had anything like this before, and I've had a brilliant time, thanks. It's our pleasure. Do you always eat at places like that? Well, it saves cooking. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it when I saw the bill. Must be more than Pat used to earn in a week. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed yourself. Can we do it again sometime? If you like. But there are plenty of other places we can take you to. Why don't you ever think about what you'd like to do and we can see if we can make it happen? Even talk about it in the car? Come on. Why do birds suddenly appear Every time you are near and Just like me They long to be close to you Oh, hello, Edna. Do you want something? Well, I did, but it's gone right out of my head. All right, well, while you're trying to remember, you can help me choose. What do you think? This one? Or this one? Yeah. Well... Yeah, you're right. This is ever so sickly sweet, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is more mysterious. Bubble like that. Oh, he was ever so sweet this afternoon, Edna. You know, in this day and age... It's very easy to think the worst of people, especially men. Sometimes, um, you know, they seem so shifty and lazy and devious and out for what they can get. You're very lucky if you find someone who breaks the mould. Oh, that's all I wanted. That is why all the girls in town follow you all around. Oh, yeah? You've been shopping. Do you like my new jacket? Where's your coat? I'll put it in my bag. We found that one in the little designer store. We couldn't resist. Well, I've just bought a one. So, now I've got two. Who can keep that for best? Designer clothes aren't very hard wearing. <clears throat> the important thing is that you've had a good time. It was great. Uh, cocktails? Mm -hmm. You know she's too young to drink. Non-alcoholic kids' cocktails. <gasps> Sorry. I didn't... Maybe I'm a bit overprotective. We're just pleased that you've had a good day, really. Thanks for taking it. Do you, do you want to come in for a drink? No, no, we want to be going to work to catch up on. There you go. I'll see you soon, Billy. Hi. We've made loads of plans. Try it's going to see if she can get tickets for a pop concert. Well, we can talk about that later. Right now, you better get on with your own work. Always room for that little bit extra on the van. Moroccan carpet, Swiss clock, Belgian chocks. Well's my supermarket. So, you ever looking for anything to impress that uh, special lady? Always worth asking where I'm going. I'll bear it in mind. <sighs> All right, please, Swisher. Coming up. And uh, whatever you and these two gentlemen are having. 
Very generous. <sighs> Yesterday you're down on your luck talking about leaving the village, and today it's like your lottery numbers have come up. Yeah, well, let's just say my luck's about to change. Mag? She really liked it. I bet she does. Not as much as a new jacket. I don't think there's anything wrong with her having a few treats, but she's not exactly had an easy life up to now, has she? I must seem a bit dull next to charity. <laughs> there's no competition, though, is it? We all just want her to be happy, don't we? Of course. Yeah. And I bet Bill and Colin are pleased that she's started to get closer to her real mother. I'm not sure it's the best thing for her. That's not for us to decide, though, is it? We're just here to look after her while she needs a home. Don't stop me having feelings. No, I'm not, and nothing can do that, can I? But... Bill warned us about getting too attached to any of the children. She won't be with us forever. Look, Emily, all we can do is be there for Debbie while she needs us and hope that everything sorts itself out the way that she wants it to. I know you're right. It's just a lot harder than I thought. Dinner's on. Where have you been? Oh, I just had a swift one in the woolly. You should have been getting your coat ready. I told you they're waiting for it. <sighs> Done and dusted. Does this mean that you've decided to stay in the village for a while? Yeah, well, it makes sense if I'm working here, don't it? Well, that's for the committee to decide. Well, naturally. But, but uh, I think we can trust them to make the right choice. I'd better go and baste those potatoes. 